Hey guys, so I wanted to do just a quick little video um, about something that I experience. I don't know if you do too, social media guilt. Uh, I also just haven't done a video in what feels like forever and I really, really miss it. Like so much I can't even tell you. So I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things with that. But um, social media guilt is something, I'm gonna give you a little example of uh, how it's sort of happening for me right now. I've got a birthday coming up in a few days and I love birthdays. I don't have like a weird kind of sense of dread about getting older. I actually feel like, you know, things tend to get a little better with age. You get more settled in yourself. You get more settled in life. Not everything gets better, but you know, a lot of stuff just feels like it's um, a little more settled. You get a little more confident uh, in yourself. So I don't dread birthdays. What I do struggle with is uh, Facebook notifications, and that might sound really stupid and weird. I love them, don't get me wrong. Like I absolutely adore that feature of Facebook. I think it's really sweet, and I love knowing that people that I may not have heard from in a long time or might not see very often, that they're taking a minute out of their day to you know, say something kind to me, that they even thought of me at all for a second, I just find that's that's huge. That feels like a real um, bright, bright spot in my day to see those messages. So love that. What I struggle with is that I carry like a huge amount of guilt by not responding to each and every single one of those messages. And I don't know where it comes from. I think that there's Part of it that might relate back to the fact that like I grew up in a house where manners, um, being polite, being grateful for things was huge. Like my mom didn't write the book on manners, uh, but she read it a bunch of times, I'm sure. And so manners, politeness, that was that was really big in our household growing up. But I also think that partially, you know, growing up as a girl, being a woman, you know, in my experience, at least anecdotally and, and having little girls too, the message that we send to girls like basically daily is that being polite is a really, really important part of your identity. So I think that's kind of all wrapped up in it. So, you know, when I get a lot of birthday wishes uh, on Facebook or anywhere else uh, on social media or through text or whatever, I really do feel like, you know, you took the time to say something kind to me. I should really take the time to respond back to you with gratitude, with a thank you at the very, very least. And especially if someone writes a longer message, I feel like I want to write a longer message back. And so I try every year to do that. And every year without fail, I only get part of the way through and, you know, life calls you to something else and you get busy and whatever happens. And then I don't end up being able to say thank you to everybody. And so I feel really, really guilty. And it's sort of like, you know, you know, when you're in a conversation and you think of something that you want to add to that conversation and, and you think you're going to be able to articulate it really well. So you're just sort of waiting for an opening in the conversation to be able to add something to it. And then all of a sudden the conversation veers in like a completely different direction. And you're like, oh, okay, I had this really great thing that I, I wanted to share that could be part of this conversation. And then the moments passed and you think, well, is it going to go back to that? Can I say it now? Would that be like super awkward? Yeah, it would probably be like really awkward. So you don't say it, but you like hold on to that thing that you, you know, you knew that you wanted to say. And I feel sort of similarly about the, the birthday messages. It's like, you know, a week, two weeks, months. Now for me, a year later, like literally I'm carrying around this guilt about all of the messages from last year that I did not respond to. And the weird thing is that mentally I did. I saw what you wrote. I mentally said thank you, but I didn't have the time to actually type thank you. And so now I'm holding on to this weird guilt that you don't know that I really did appreciate what you had to say. And I know that you can do those standard blanket messages that says, thanks everyone for the birthday wishes. I get that, but it's not the same as actually taking the time to respond to people individually, which is something that I, I really like being able to do. And yet it's so hard to actually be able to do that. So I carry around this guilt. So I guess what I'm getting at is that I feel like I can't be the only one who carries around social media guilt and whether it's birthdays or not, just not responding to messages or mentally replying to messages or comments that, that you get 
but then not actually being able to or not having the time to go and respond to people and then walking around with this feeling of like, oh, I meant to do that and now the time has passed and it feels really awkward and they don't know I actually wanted to respond or did kind of mentally give it the energy and I just didn't type it out. So does this happen to you? I mean, birthdays or not, do you carry around social media guilt when you don't respond to people? I can't be the only one, right? So if that's something that you've experienced, I would actually really appreciate hearing that. It would make me feel a little bit better that I'm not the only one who's like a little bit neurotic about this, you know, social media guilt thing. So your experiences, your thoughts, your advice, perhaps, if you could put that in the comments below. I would really appreciate it with my birthday on the horizon. I'm sure that I'm going to pack on some more guilt if I don't respond to these messages. So please leave any advice you have in the comments below. Uh, and I will talk to you soon.